Hi, Nate from Microchip Technology here, and today we're going to look at an audio recorder demo. The goal of this demo is to demonstrate the capabilities of our PIC-18 F57 Q43 microcontroller on a Curiosity Nano development board with three microwee clickboards, mic click, flash to click, and proto click, to create an audio recorder that can record, store, and playback mono audio sounds. This audio recorder is perfect for voice recognition, noise monitoring, and many more applications. In this video, we will explore the main components and peripherals that are required to gain a fundamental understanding on how this demo works. For more information, please visit the GitHub and application note links in the description and follow along with the step-by-step -step guide provided in the application note. Once recording is started, either a headphone microphone or the mic click signal is sent to the analog to digital converter with computation or ADCC. A 12-bit ADCC samples the audio signal at 10 kHz to produce digitized values that can be read by our microcontroller to transfer the data to memory. Since the digital to analog converter, or DAC, is 8 bits, only 8 bits of the ADCC result are stored and used. Direct memory access, or DMA, is a method of moving multiple registers without the use of the CPU or additional code. After the ADCC, the first DMA channel is used for audio pass-through and transfers data straight to the DAC. The second DMA channel moves the data from the ADCC to a ping-pong buffer that is used to simultaneously write to a buffer and send data to the external or internal memory. DMA4 is used for external storage and moves data from the GPR register to a dedicated SPI peripheral that is connected to the flash 2 click. The DMA5 will carry data from the ping-pong buffer to internal storage. Past the ping-pong buffer, the data can take two routes. On boot up, the microcontroller will check for the presence of a flash 2 click. If present, it will send the data along the external storage path. Otherwise, the data will be sent down the internal storage path. The reason for the two paths is while the microcontroller contains internal storage, it has limited memory. The flash 2 click allows us to store much more data and contains 8 megabytes of data memory. When it's time to play back the signal, DMA3 and 6 will carry the data from the external or internal storage respectively to the digital to analog converter where the digitized values from the ADC are converted back to an analog signal. The DAC's output is then handled by a custom low-power Class D amplifier, which then sends the signal to a connected speaker or driver. That's all. For more information on this demo and a use guide, please check out the video that will be linked in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.